Hey there, this is John Bertles from Bash the Trash Environmental Arts, and today we're going to be taking a look at musical instruments made from rubber bands. And actually, one of our favorite musical instruments, stretch it out like this, pull on it to give it some energy, and you can see it vibrate. Now, what you want to do, of course, you want to put it on some kind of a structure to support it, so that way you get more strings, like a box. Uh, unfortunately, a box like an egg carton kind of crate is too weak and flimsy, that's not going to work. Something like this one, too narrow at the top so you won't get a lot of different sounds from the rubber bands, and too flimsy, that's not going to work either. A shoebox, you can already see what the issue is here. This one has just one rubber band and it's already starting to collapse. This one's not going to work either. Now the, really the best thing to use is some kind of a corrugated cardboard. Now corrugated cardboard looks like this. That means that there's a lot of air inside that as well, and that means that it makes a good resonator. That means that it's going to make the string sound a lot louder. So just take the rubber band, wrap it around the box like this, and then, pretty good. Let's take a few more, wrap it around again, and it doesn't really make any difference whether they're, up, they're uh, sort of twisted up or not. Now what I like to do, since they're starting to come together and the box is going to collapse, I'm just going to take a piece of wood and I'm going to put this piece of wood inside here and that'll keep the box from, box from collapsing. In the meantime, let's tune this up. Too much alike, so let's make this one a low one. All right, but what I really like to use, the better, better kind of material, is styrofoam. Styrofoam is a really great material for building musical instruments, terrible for the earth. And when I have my styrofoam with rubber bands, I have a really big rubber band here, and a relatively big box, and I put these on top. Now, the styrofoam is all full of air, and so that makes it sound a lot louder. This one's kind of a buzzy sound because these uh, rubber bands are kind of whacking against the side of that styrofoam, and that makes it kind of sound a little bit African. If you want a purer kind of a sound, less buzz to it, something like this, where I put chopsticks along the side, and the chopsticks are just held on with paper clips, broken in half and driven into the styrofoam. But if you have really big rubber bands, like these industrial strength kind of things right here, then you can take a really giant styrofoam box and make yourself the styrofoam box base. Mm -hmm. 